Hi, welcome to Rich Man Poor Tech. Now I love my air fryer, but should I have bought this cheap air fryer and saved even more money? I'll be looking into the running costs, the cooking results to see if I wasted my money and also help you choose one for yourself. So stick around. Now there's no doubt that the hottest kitchen gadget, if you pardon the pun, is the air fryer this year owing to the advertised and confirmed energy cost savings over a conventional oven, as well as the health benefits over a deep fat fryer. More on that in a bit. But the main driving force at the moment is the energy cost saving. So if you're looking at saving money, obviously the purchase price is an important part of saving money. And I'll also have another money saving tip at the end of this video. Now I don't know about you, but food is a passion of mine. If the cooking results are poor, then you're not and I'm, I'm not going to use it and it'll just be taking up space in that cupboard gathering dust. It's also not going to save you any money if you save, say, one pound on your energy use from cooking, but you burn and waste that five pound piece of chicken, leaving the inside still raw and uncooked, for example. So it needs to cook evenly with no hot spots. I'll get on to how they save, the savings and the cooking results in a bit. But first, this machine. Here I have a Kasuri Light Smart Air Fryer. Links to prices in the description as always. Now it's a single drawer air fryer for less than half the price of my other air fryer. In fact, you could buy two of these and still have change in your pocket. So how does this one from Kasuri stack up? First of all, if you don't know who Kasuri are and you might not recognize the name here in the UK, they're part of a multi-brand company. They're the number one sell sellers of air purifiers with a Levoit brand like this one, number two on air fryers with this Kasuri brand like this, and number three overall in small appliance sales on Amazon in America. So they are a sizable company with lots of good online five-star reviews, both here and in America. Now this air fryer is the Kasori 3.8 litre light or the Kasori four quarts for my US uh, viewers. Now it has a squarish non-stick basket with a removable non-stick crisper plate. The temperature ranges from 75 to 230 degrees centigrade which is around 160 to 450 degrees in Fahrenheit. It's also a smart air fryer, yes, you've heard me correctly, that can also connect your Wi-Fi and your smartphone. More on that in a bit. But we do like a bit of smart tech here on Rich Man Poor Tech. But it can also be used without the smart functions if you wish. This one here happens to be in truffle grey. And they're also available in um, green and white as well. Now it has a touchscreen top. And to make your life easier, it has five preset quick functions named chicken, fries, bacon, steak, and veggie. Once selected, they can be adjusted, or the presets can be adjusted or set up within your app for your liking for each time you use it. For example, I prefer my bacon to be a little bit more crisp or well done, so I can adjust that preset for future use. Personally, I think it's a nice minimalistic design that looks good on your countertop. And it's also compact enough to fit into your cupboard. So if you have any space in your cupboard, that is. And if you do, I am jealous. Now it is only 1500 watts, so it's good on power compared to my conventional oven being 2500 watts. And it also cooks 30% faster than the previous air fryer model from Kasori. So all good so far. Now for full disclosure, this has been sent out to me from Kasori. Do not have an air fryer fetish or anything, and I'm not being paid for this review. These thoughts are purely my own. My channel's impartiality is what's important to my viewers like you. So shameless plug, please help me by liking and subscribing for free. It really does help me to make more reviews like this one. Thank you. So on to energy savings. How do they save you money? First off, they're fast, very fast. Now, obviously you can cook chips, French fries, chicken nuggets, fish fingers, for example but there's so much more than that. And you can cook almost anything that you can cook in your oven size dependent, like women got croissants, for example. Cooking time for my sausages, for example, are around 10 to 11 minutes, as opposed to 40 minutes plus the heat up time in the conventional oven. It's around a 40 minute time and energy saving. Bonus chicken breasts, around 20 to 22 minutes, as opposed to 40 to 45 minutes, again, plus heat up time. So that's around a 30, 35, minute saving and saving energy as well. So the saving is both in time and money. But because they are volumetrically smaller in area, you're not paying to heat up all that empty oven space. So again, the energy you use is focused more on what you're cooking and the cooking is quicker as the air circulates quicker. With less wattage, very little pre-heat up time, a shorter cooking time, 
That's what saves you on the energy use, which in turn saves your money. Now, on one of my other videos before the latest electric price rise, this was a few was saving around £27 a month or £324 per year on cooking with an air fryer. And as energy price rises and are predicted to rise even further, this is only going to be a greater saving. If you have an air fryer, please let me know what you are saving in the comments below so that others can also see. So how does this Kasori air fryer stack up for me, a food fan? Now I've been putting it through its paces, cooking things like mini pizzas, chicken, par baked bread rolls, chips, salmon haddock, bacon sausages, um, oven chips, and veg like spiced cauliflower. So a mixture of both fresh and ready meals. And the results have all been good. Nice and juicy, nice even browning, as you can see from this shot of the bacon from edge to edge and evenly cooked through. As stated before, I love my air fryer and I find that I'm using it every day as it's both quicker and the food is lovely and juicy. The pre-mentioned bacon, sausages, salmon, chicken, etc. all taste better. So if there was no cost saving at all, all being the same, I'd still choose to cook in the air fryer as my first choice. Only switching to the oven if it physically won't fit in. And the fact that I am saving money is a bonus. Now, the smart functions on this Kusori air fryer have a couple of real advantages as well. Not only does it notify you on your phone when the cooking is finished or time to shake or the preheating, etc. Ideal if you're busy and you walk away from your kitchen, but it also gives you recipes, which is a great if you want to follow recipes. The timing, the temperature and the preheat, etc. can be sent straight from your phone to the air fryer, which is great. So is the visual countdown to the next step or the end of cooking. But I wish I had a few more basic cooking instructions for things like plain chicken breasts, uh, chicken tenders, beef burgers, sausage, salmon, haddock, pre-bought batter fish, fish fingers, etc. Something you can, sometimes you can extrapolate this from the recipes, but I wish there was just a plain cooking section. Also in the instructions, it gives you an idea how to cook something from an instructions on a packet or a box. But I wish this could be entered straight into the app and let the app work it out for you. As the app is something that can be updated, then I'll hope this will come with future recipes. In America, it looks like you can scan, scan a barcode on a box or a packet, and this information can be sent to the air fryer. But in the UK, this isn't available right, right now. I hope it comes. Also referring to the smart functions, it works with Google Assistant here in the UK, but not Alexa. It does, however, work with Alexa in the US, so it must be something to do with licensing issues here in the UK. I hope this also changes in the future. Health benefits to cook fried food, you spray oil onto the food rather than place it into the vat of oil using 97% less oil, again, another cost saving. This is where the health benefits also come in. Instead of sitting in that vat of oil, soaking up more oil as it cooks, the oil cooks just on the surface. So your food has less fat when you air fry, supposedly 75% less fat. Obviously steaming or poaching is healthier, but if you want chips, samosas, fried chicken, you're not going to steam them, are you? So the food tastes great and it's healthier. I'm saving time, I'm saving money. And the lower purchase price, it'll pay for itself more quickly, easily within a few months. So do I recommend this Kusori light air fryer? Yes, what's not to like? I wish I'd tried it sooner.